what's up it's your girl Nemo and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today I'm gonna be changing my hair up I'm actually at this moment not really sure what I'm doing next but I do know the first step is to remove this color so I'm gonna be using my tried and true BTZ radical color remover I'm not gonna film me mixing it up because I've done it so many times but I basically just use two packets because my hair is really not that long um, sometimes I use three if I have something especially stubborn, but I do that. I mix it mostly, mostly. I mix it mostly with head and shoulders. I might add a little bit of water in there, but I also dampen my hair just a little bit before putting it on just so it lathers and spreads more evenly. Then I'm going to put a shower cap on and leave it for a while. If it seems like it's being a little stubborn, I'll put my heat cap on and that usually helps open the follicles or cut the cuticles it opens the cuticles and helps the color come out just a little bit more and it does this without much or if any damage it is kind of drying but if you do like a mask afterwards like a very hydrating mask it's pretty good for your hair as far as color removing goes it also doesn't lighten the hair underneath as opposed to like doing something that might need developer so yeah let's go ahead and get started with taking taking this out Okay, I've got the color remover put on. Um, I usually let this sit for an hour, depending on how it looks as it's coming out. But honestly, it looks like it's coming out pretty easily. So I'll probably give this more like 30 minutes and be back to show you how it's looking before I put any more color in. All right, sorry for the atrocious lighting. It's just that time of day and I really need to get a curtain for this window up here because that's the problem. <laughs> Anyway, this is how it came out. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's like tints of blue still. I don't know, I feel like you can kind of see it, like kind of a, just a blue tint where the purple was. So I've decided what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna use Red by Kiss in the shade Ginger and just put that all over. I think it's gonna neutralize those blue tones really well and I think it's gonna look good. So that's the plan for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started putting it on.
All right, I've got it applied and I will make sure to wait for better lighting to show you the results. So um, yeah, once I've got that done and I've got some better lighting in here, I'll show you how it looks. All right, here's the results and I kind of dig it. It's very like pumpkin spice orange, very fall. And we are coming up into the fall. Sorry, I haven't like straightened my hair or anything. It's still early in the morning as of the time I'm filming this. But look at that. Look at that. I think it's cute. I like it. I can live with this for a week or two and yeah. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it's a few ways to support my channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Love. God bless.